page two, we see the other side of the postcard. This is where we're going to work. Variable text doesn't have to be plain or boring. Anything you can do to text in InDesign, you can do to merged text in InDesign. Let's say we want to put on this side of the card the recipient's first name, and we want to make that first name look like it's part of the license plate. Create a text frame to fit the area for the text. Type in some placeholder name like yours or mine, and then style the text. When you open this document, it should have downloaded the font Vinyl OT from Typekit, if you have Typekit Sync enabled. You can now find Vinyl OT in the Font Family field. If not, go to typekit.com, find Vinyl OT, and choose to sync it to your computer. Make the text nice and big. Switch to the eyedropper tool and pick up the almost black color here. Make a swatch. Apply that color to the type. And still boring. Well, maybe not boring, but certainly flat and lifeless. States don't print flat numbers and letters onto license plates. They stamp them out of the plate. So let's make our text look like it belongs on a license plate. Switching to the black arrow selection tool, right-click on the text frame and choose Effects, Bevel, and Emboss. First, turn on Preview in the lower left corner so we can see our changes take effect. Choose Outer Bevel for the style, maybe at three points, which InDesign will convert to whatever measurement system you're using. Let's drop the opacity of the shadows down. Ah, that looks much better. Just click OK, connect the data source, and replace the type text with a merge placeholder. Activating Data Merge Preview, you can see that each incoming first name inherits the text style and effects we just applied. Again, you can do anything to variable text that you can do to standard text. Here are just a few more examples I whipped up, which, if you'd like to examine them, are in a document called Text Effects in this module's demo files. Get creative with your variable text. Once you start adding variable images, your creativity can truly take off. With the license plate postcard, for instance, if you wanted to go a few steps further, you could use Data Merge's ability to include images to change the license plate background image to the correct one for the recipient's specific state. You could also change the surrounding car to match the recipient's correct car or color of car. Or you could change the car picture to one you're trying to sell the customer. The possibilities for personalization are truly endless with data merge text and imagery. The images we'll get into in the adding variable images in data merge module coming up right after a quick wrap up.